In this video, I'm going to show you a few examples of cinematic titles right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. So we're gonna go File, New Sequence. And in there, we're gonna make sure we go over to Settings and we'll make sure the editing mode is custom. We have a time base of your frame rate. So let's select 23. 0.976. We'll make sure the frame size is 1920. The height is 1080. Square pixel aspect ratio. And then everything else is fine. Although you can rename this if you like. So I'm going to rename this to titles and we'll press OK. Now we'll go up to file, new, legacy title. We'll press OK on this window. And inside of the legacy title window, we've got all of these different areas and we're going to explore all of these now to create some awesome titles. So to begin with, we're going to select the T icon and then we're just going to click on the video itself and we can just type out whatever we like. So I'm going to go caps lock for this and we're going to go cinematic. Now turn off caps lock, hold command and A to select all. And we're going to decrease the size of this and we'll change the font to something cinematic. So I'm gonna start with a font called Avenir. I love this font, this is what I use for my branding. It's a personal favorite of mine, but feel free to use whatever you like. Now, I'm gonna start by adding some kerning to the title, so we're gonna pull this up all the way to around 50, and then we're just gonna move this to the center of the frame. So we'll press these two buttons here, and already that's looking slightly cinematic. Now I'm gonna go back to the T icon. We'll click anywhere on the video, just not on top of cinematic. And we'll type out another word. So I'm gonna do titles. Caps lock again, T-I-T-L-E-S. And this time I'm gonna keep the kerning at 0%, but I'm going to decrease the size of this title. So we'll decrease this all the way down to around 40%. We'll pull this underneath cinematic and we'll press the second center button, not the first one. Now we'll select both of those and we'll select both center buttons. And as you can see, we've got the cinematic title all ready to go. Now that's just one variation of a cinematic title that you can do in Premiere Pro. So we're just gonna delete that for now and we're gonna create a brand new title. So again, we'll press the T, click anywhere on the canvas. We'll type out cinematic, select all, and we can go back into fonts and select a font that works for yourself. So this time I'm gonna go for more of a calligraphy type font. So go ahead and select a font that works for that. I'm gonna select dancing on the beach and I'm gonna make sure that this is not caps lock. So I'm gonna delete all of that. We'll turn caps lock off and we'll just go ahead and we'll type out cinematic and then I'm just gonna change that font back because it changed back for some reason. And we'll center that up. Now, if you like, you can go ahead and you can change the fill color of this on the right of the legacy title window by selecting fill. Now you can change this to solid or you can select linear gradient, radial gradient, four color gradient, bevel, eliminate or ghost. I'm going to go ahead and select a linear gradient and we can go ahead and change each color of the gradient. So the left side of the gradient will be a nice aqua blue and the right side of the gradients will be a nice pink. Now we can go ahead and pull the color stop opacity down to around 20%, in fact, no, 40%, and we'll increase the angle all the way up to around 25%. Of course, though, we can take that one step further by adding a stroke to the font. So if we go to strokes and select outer stroke, we'll press add, we'll change the color to white, and we'll make sure the size of this is all the way down. So we'll go ahead and select six. And as you can see, that is looking really awesome. If we increase the size of this, you can really get an idea of how this is coming together. Now we're just gonna go back into the T icon and we'll type out titles. This time we're gonna select all, go back to the original font that was Avenir. We'll change the fill type back from linear gradient to solid. We'll make sure the solid color is white. We'll decrease the scale. 
and we'll move this underneath cinematic. We'll center that up, but then we'll off center that just a touch. So we'll pull this over to the right. And as you can see, once again, we've got a really awesome, playful cinematic title. Now, if you want something a little bit more impactful, then let me show you how to do that right now. So we'll press the T icon once more and we'll type out, you wouldn't guess it, we're typing out cinematic. So we're going to select all of that, make sure caps lock is off and we're going to select a font which is a bit more powerful. So you want to try and find something which is bold. Now, impact is probably the one that I'm going to go for, but of course you don't have to go for this one. We're going to go back to fill and we're going to change the fill type to one of these other settings. So I'm going to go ahead and select a radial gradient. We'll change the left color to white and we'll change the right color to a slightly darker white. So we'll go for a gray. Now we can pull the color stop opacity back down to zero, make sure the angle is zero and we can just come out of that and center up the font. Now, as you can see, we've still got the stroke on from before. So you just want to turn off the stroke. So we'll remove the outer stroke. And as you can see, that is looking powerful. Of course, if you wanted to add some kerning to this, then you can do to make that a little bit more powerful. Now, if you wanted to add a shadow to the title, then all you would have to do is go down to shadow, select the shadow box. You can change the color of the shadow to whatever you like. I'm going to select a nice blue. We'll press OK on that. We'll increase the opacity to 100 so we can see what we're doing. We can increase the angle. So as you can see, increasing the angle brings it round the left, the bottom, the right, the top. So select an angle that works for yourself. We can increase or decrease the distance. I'm going to increase this to around 20%. If we increase the size, that's going to increase the size of the shadow. But again, I'm going to keep that quite low. I'm going to keep that to around 20. And if we spread this out, then that's going to add some feathering to that shadow. So now that we've got that position where we want this to be, we can just go ahead and decrease the opacity of this. So we'll pull this from 100 down to around something small, like 30%. Keep this nice and subtle. And there you go. We've got another awesome cinematic title in Premiere Pro. It's super easy to create a really awesome and really cinematic title inside of the legacy title window. You just have to be a little bit creative and don't just go for one of these presets at the bottom. If you select one of these presets, then you're going to get some really ugly looking titles. I'm not too sure why these titles are on the legacy title window because they're all a little bit ugly and not very cinematic. But if you want to create a cinematic title, then all you have to do is just play with some of these settings in the legacy title window. And I promise you, you're going to get a really awesome and cinematic title. So if this walkthrough helps you out at all, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And like always, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.